You know, Dorothy, I've 1968, of the formation of the American Indian Movement. I never thought that we'd ever see this part of the area together in, in a quiet time and to be in the Badlands. I, I don't think there's nothing bad about this land. I know. Oh. I think it's a really pretty picture that the Creator put here for us to enjoy, to look at it and just love in the quiet time. Absolutely, peaceful. absolutely. Yeah, just everything that we could ever ask for. I guess, you know, in our prayers we always talk about the Mother Earth and we don't think about from where I'm at in Wisconsin, with all the trees and all the streams and everything that we have there, you, you don't, when you're praying, you don't have the picture of this so much until you come out here and see it again mm. in person. And then you realize what a lot of people had to, um, the conditions that they lived under, you know, before we even started the struggle, everything that led up to what we're fighting for to keep it like the way it is, you know. Yep. I think the most important thing, well, one of the one of the most important things is to is to look at the look at the land and and, and try to understand why did why did the cartographers or the the people who were plotting this area how could they give it the name as the Badlands? And this is really a majestic a majestic view, just a small portion of the earth. I mean, this is, you know, it gets to be 120 degrees out here, hot, but it is still, it is still Mother Earth. You're right. Yes, it is. Creator's land. Land of beauty, land of enchantment. It is just so much all in once to take in. When you come out here, it's actually breathtaking. It just reminds me so much of when you see the change, like Monument Valley. It looks like you're walking into another world. Or a Bear Butte. Yeah, yeah. Bear Butte. Yep. Right. Many, many places where native people have prayed and we've designated those as sacred, sacred sites. And I'm sure uh, even this will be a sacred site. It is in a way. It is to us, yeah. It will it, be declared as a sacred site and no, we, we don't want any, uh, any steeples, any churches, any white man's churches. Just uh, want to see a sweat lodge out here. Mm -hmm. I think it's thing. a church just to us. It's a church just the way it is. Just the way we it is. We come out here sure. and sit and pray. And I know that when the medicine men put their put some of the men on the fast, that they put them out in in areas like this to fast because they are alone with you know with themselves, their thoughts, and they can express their thanks um, and give this make their sacrifices without any interruptions, without any interference without any, hardly any cars going by, they don't hear all of that, you know, just the natural elements, so. What, what I didn't expect to see was all these mountain goats appear. You know, I, I've been out here like 20, 20 some years, and that's the most, well, I've seen like about two over by the, by the, by the Welcome Center, mm -hmm. but to see 10 or 15 like that is like they were, like they were waiting for us to mm -hmm. say, hey, we're, we're still here. Yeah, we're still here. And just, just like the analogy by a lot of Native people that we're still here. Mm -hmm. We're still here. Yeah, yeah. I know when coming through here, I just, it reminds me of, you know, the people, our ancestors that lived out here and the conditions that they had to live under. And they traveled all through these badlands and they didn't have the roads like we have, even though they're, I mean, the, the roads are rough right now. But just think what it was like when they were traveling or even when they were, you know, when the army was after them and they were going through different kinds of lands. You just wonder how they made it through this kind of terrain and survived. You know, you wonder how many of the, the, the people's bones are we walking on? Yep. Because a lot of them never made it, you know, so. It's really a sacred place. Badlands is a sacred place.